Microsoft Word 2010 Formatting Paragraphs You can align your paragraphs and text in four different ways. The default is left align. So if you look at your information on your page now, everything should be aligned to the left. In other words, you won't see open white spaces on the left hand side of your screen. If you wish to change the alignment, highlight the paragraph that you want to align and then select the Home tab. On the Home tab, go to the Paragraph group and look for your alignment options. You'll see that Left Align has been, has been selected as this is the default selection. Let's center our paragraph now by selecting the Center Command button. Notice the open spaces on both the left and right hand side of your paragraph. You can also choose to right align your paragraph and notice that you won't have white space on the right hand side of your paragraph now. The last alignment option is justification and this will ensure that you don't have any white space on either the right or left hand side of your paragraph. I'm going to change our alignment back to the default setting, which is left aligned. Line spacing will determine the amount, the amount of white space between the lines of text in your document. To set the line spacing, select the paragraph that you want to edit, and then select the drop down menu next to the line and paragraph spacing command button. I'm going to change the spacing of this paragraph to double. Notice how much extra white space you now have in between your lines. You're also able to change the amount of white space inserted before and after a paragraph. To show you the effect of this, I'm going to activate our hidden formatting mark so that you can see where the end of each paragraph is. To do this, select the Show Hide command button from your home ribbon. Right, so each one of these symbols represents the end of a paragraph or where you pressed enter on your keyboard. I'm now going to select my entire document and I'm going to change the paragraph spacing. To do this, select the dialog box launcher on your paragraph group on your home tab and then go to the spacing section. I'm going to add space after each paragraph marker. Let's make a 12 PT and then I'm going to select the OK command. You'll now notice that there's more space in between the paragraph sections. You can also indent your paragraphs. In other words, you can change the distance specified from the margin. To do this, highlight the paragraph that you wish to indent. I'm going to highlight the first paragraph. I'm going to use the indentation markers on the ruler to indent my paragraph. The top triangle will indent the first line of the paragraph. Just click and drag to the desired position. If you wanted to indent the rest of the paragraph, you can simply move down and select the bottom triangle and do the same thing, click and drag. You can also access these options by selecting your paragraph dialog box launcher and then moving to the indentation section over here. Here you can select which kind of indent you desire, for instance the first line indent or the hanging indent. And then you can specify uh, as to where it should indent to. So I'm going to make the first line indent to 2 cm. Remember to select your OK command when you've done all the settings. To add a border to your paragraph, select the border and then select the border command button on your home tab. I'm going to select an outside border to go around my paragraph. To add shading to your paragraph, highlight the paragraph and then select the shading command button from your ribbon. Click on the drop down menu and select the desired color. I'm going to use yellow as a background color.
And that concludes our lesson on Word 2010 formatting paragraphs.